Hello. Happy Sunday to you. We're just getting back from the big city, getting back from Lowe's. We're transferring water over so we can do our plumbing test. We thought we had everything, but of course we don't. So we're gonna go back to town, grab the three quarter uh, crimp rings for the pecs, because we only have half inch stuff. Come back, and hopefully by that time it'll be nice and cool. And then what we can do is we can uh, pop this giant three quarter line underneath the house and then we are going to install it on the other side of that skid completely out of the sun and up out of the way the only thing we got to watch out for is a giant bull snake which we've seen in and out of the house so that's what we're up to for now Whew, it's really hot we're definitely not going to be working in the shade uh, it's really exciting though getting all this plumbing and stuff done uh, we got like a little hose reel thing we're going to mount to the wall outside it's a little um yeah a hose reel it just holds a hose and it reels it it's going to be mounted on a couple studs on the wall somewhere and i think that's it for now be back after we uh go get the stuff from lowe's one is going to be for the hot and one's going to be for the cold. Right now they're both going to have cold water, but our faucet requires two connectors. So I'm just going to hook them up to the same one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It'll work. And the two rings. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I see. Nice. All right, tools of the trade are this giant crimping tool. Uh, the crimping rings, half inch on the inside and then outside we're going to be using the larger crimping rings okay never mind the random bugs flying around it's nighttime here so the ants are coming in it's really annoying but anyways um the back of the cabinet have, has the two holes for it i'm just gonna cut it and put those quarter turn connector valve thingy for the sink How's that thing work? You just spin it's it? Great. Yeah, you just spin it and then it goes right through. Preferably if you don't have tons of bottles around. Whoa. That's pretty sick. How much was that thing? I don't know, I think eight bucks. Okay. That's hmm. worth it. <laughs> Wait, let me see the cut. I want to see how clean it is. Wow, dang. Yeah, you can see the... Nice. Perfectly Yes, miss. I'm gonna put this facing down, facing side. For what? Facing up. The supply line? Yeah. Going up towards the faucet, I would imagine. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, so not able to get leverage upside down on these things. So we're gonna go ahead and reach. From the top. I don't have a countertop yet. Yeah, good thing we don't have a countertop. Just right up through. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, hands of Bianca. It should probably be me doing that, but you got it. Go, 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 go. Whoa! Dropped the water bottle. <laughs> I was wondering what was splashing on my arm. I was really hoping it wasn't my daughter. <laughs> Keep going, you got it! There you go. Whew, that stuff is tough. You got the go, no go gauge? Mm, yep. Alright. Sweet, that was pretty painless. <laughs> You're just filming. <laughs> hey. Oh good, it doesn't go in the no-go, that's good. So we're safe, that one is past inspection and hopefully shouldn't spray water everywhere. Okay, so now um, what basically happens is the fitting has barbs on it and you put the barb fitting inside the blue tubing, which is the PEC stuff, and then we use a tiny little band with the crimping tool to crimp it on. And that's the little bandy thing. That's why we had to go back into town again is for three quarter inch crimpy bands. I might have 
made it too big. I'm actually gonna make it smaller. All right. Uh, what? It is totally at an angle? Uh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> nice one. I love it. Well, the beauty of this, you can just cut a little bit more. Remember, there's no uh, pipe stretcher, Bianca. Recording your failures? Every step. This is real life here. There we go. Alright, now we put in the crimp fitting, put the ring or put the ring on first, then put the crimp fitting on, then crimp it. This is gonna be so awesome. Bianca's workout for the evening. Hey, are you cheating and using the freaking counter? I can tell. Never. Even then. Even then, you're just gonna break the counter. It's fine. I think you're having trouble because you're now pulling on the fitting. I'm having trouble because I already did too many of these yesterday. Here, let me do it then. Are you enjoying those mints, kid? Jeez. All right. Does it go or does it no go? <laughs> Hello, munchkin. No. No go. Good job. All right, now we can move to the outside work, and are both valves off? Yes. Okay, good. All right, now we can move to the outside. So here's the setup. The water line is gonna come from the tote through here. It's gonna be a three-quarter, and then it's going to tee off to a three-quarter elbow, three-quarter converts to three-quarter uh, thread, and then I have a thread spigot that's um, hose thread and then I have a, a split here just because and then continuing on from here it goes up to our fake hot water and then it continues on to where the tank is supposed to be up at the top and then it loops down into the sink okay under the house make sure the snake is not around here because I know there's one living under here I'm gonna cut it right about there okay this is where the tea will go still no snake okay so this is the tool that we have we got the professional one instead of the crimper the quick crimper one and the reason that this tool is so awesome is that you can replace these by pressing this button and pushing that out and then you just replace it for the next size and these crimp rings this pack for 25 was eight dollars the same one for the quick ones was 16 dollars so it adds up quick I want to show you the other things that come with it. It comes with the three eighths and the three quarter. It doesn't come with one inch though. I'm sure a more expensive one would. But so far we haven't needed the one inch. Just the three quarter and half. So just uh, let's try with one hand here. 
press the button from the bottom and push it in. There we go. Press the butter button from the bottom and push it in. And it's ready to go for three quarters. Okay, the first piece of three quarter is in. I just need to crimp it. But it goes from our corner there to our first teeth. Okay, something that I didn't account for this corner one was a paint to put in because of this concrete slab i didn't have enough clearance to go in here so i kind of had to like put the tool in the ring here and then push it in and then i didn't want to push over this fitting i had to sit here with this wrencher and the no-go tool around it uh hammering it to get into place so now this side thankfully there's nothing down here that's gonna make it quite so difficult Okay, so for this T right here, I'm gonna do it out here so it's easier. I have a little piece here that's gonna go there, and then I have the T, and three lines. Okay, so now that we have this, I also did this part here. I just need to do the riser and then the threaded. Um, so now I can put it on the T over there and then run it underneath the house. Ha <laughs> ha! Heck yeah! Getting all the air out the line. Yes! Awesome! And I hope inside it's not flooding. No, the pump stops so it pressurizes so there's not a leak. Cool. Yes! High five, Bia. Yay! <laughs> Alright, it's your bed. Whoa! Jeez. Your bedtime, kiddo. Way past. Well, the rest is going to be for, I think later this week sometime. I hope you all had a great weekend. See you soon, alright? Thanks for watching. This uh, isn't really solid evidence, is it? Linda, what keys were on Jim's key ring? The car keys? The house keys? <laughs> the key to City Hall? Hey, hi. And the key to this old